Hi, 2010 has been a great year for South and Central America. These results should be celebrated. Let's see the context. In fact, the 2010 recovery began already in the second half of 2009 and the GDP growth of our region will be at around 5% this year. The highest growth rates were experienced in the largest economy, Brazil, which will grow at at least 7% this year. The consolidation can be attributed to mainly three factors increased consumption, credit availability at low interest rates and more investments. The fast recovery after the crisis with proportions rarely seen in modern economic history was mostly leveraged by public policies. Not bad for a region that was used to very low growth rates, isn't it? South America, as you all know, is predominantly an agricultural region being recognized as one of the largest food and bioenergy producers on the world. Orlando, can you comment on that? Sure. South America has shown a solid expansion of its agricultural production, increasing planted areas, applying more technology to crops, growing mechanization, the strong increment in average productivity and the diversification of the production system in major countries allowed a fast development. Since 2009, the government, in association with the industry, great funding and finance programs that have been essential to the agriculture machine sector growth. Among them we have the PSI, an incentive program for commercial agricultural investments, and the Plus Food program, whose focus is family agriculture. This year, the estimated growth for the tractor and combine sector for South America is approximately 30%. Our competitors are already heavily investing, seeking to take advantage of this situation. In order to improve our performance in the Plus Food program, we developed and launched in four months the Valtra A-Series tractors. Through a diversified team, the product came to market with design, specifications and costs improvements. Massey Ferguson strengthened its share with the launch of the MF-4200 series, a leader in the low-power segment, replacing the unbeatable MF-200. Both brands have consolidated a share of 62% in the Blue's Food program with these actions. Echo has also launched the MF7000 Dyna 6 and the Valtra BT Series Dyna Ship, the most modern tractors ever produced in Brazil. We expanded as well our Axial Combine line with the MF969 HR and Valtra BC6500. By supporting these marketing actions, we are investing in our sites, increasing our production, investing in our people by training them and through the face-to-face -face with customer program, taking our employees from the most varied areas to our dealers and end customers. Despite the excellent year, we know that our industry have large volatilities and we still have to further improve a lot in many different areas. In order to grow our combines business, 
we need to be more cost competitive, radically improving the quality of our products, as this is the key factor for our future success and return on invested capital growth. With our production sites in South America, complexity reduction is a must, but on the same time we need to add value to our brands sustaining their individuality. The growth of our return on invested capital will need to implement consistent strategies aiming these gaps amongst many others. And now, numbers and plans.